Hello, eyebrows, my old friend. I've come to put you on again. Because my friends cannot see you. Unless I use Sharpie or shit do. And the vision that once planted in my brain still remains of where I drew my eyebrows. What's going on YouTube? My name is Crazy Queen and welcome back to my channel. So as y'all know, Monday is game day. And normally I've been doing a lot of 100 Baby Challenge. However, I have been doing that consistently for seven weeks now. And I figured that it was maybe time to break it up just a little bit. So I'll be back with 100 Baby Challenge next week. But this week, I just want to take a break. Change it up a little bit. Because some of y'all might be a little bit sick of watching a hundred baby challenge every week. So we're gonna bring it up with a little bit of would you rather because I have not done this in a really long time and it is still a game. And I totally didn't procrastinate with recording hundred baby challenge because I had work all weekend. Now uh, this one was the one that showed up when I opened the website. So obviously I didn't answer this. So hey <laughs> but yeah let's get into it. Always know when people are lying, always get away with lying. I'll get away with lying. Because I'm pretty good at discerning when people are lying already. So if I could always get away with lying, like that would be the most benefit. I'm looking out for myself here, people. Have a stomachache? Have a headache. Um, have a stomachache. I'll just feel like I'm on my period. Okay, this is twice in a row that I've gotten the bad option. Watch the Sandlot. Sandlot. Seriously? Okay, first off, I've never watched The Goonies, and I really don't care to watch The Goonies. But I really like The Sandlot, because I've watched it a lot as my childhood, so it has that nostalgia factor. But three in a row, I've gotten the bad option. Or the least popular option. Popular, gonna be popular. Be a famous rapper, be a notorious mobster. I hate rap and being a... <laughs> being a notorious mobster. I would have a lot of respect and street cred. As a five foot four, really weak skinny white girl, I don't have that respect. So I'll be a mobster. I'll fuck him up. And you know what? World's going to shit anyways. If I could be a mobster, get a gang together, and, you know, have a lot of power in Minneapolis. So only like, I don't know, an hour and a half drive? Nope, 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 right. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna talk about that any further, because my channel is not the place for that. I have my opinions. I have voiced them on other social media, but my YouTube platform is not the place for it. And that's where I'm gonna end it. So, never be able to compliment, never be able to complain. Oh, all I do is complain. No, 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 no. I'll take away the complain because, uh, fuck, it's just a compliment. Because you can still compliment someone by complaining. I wish that my hair looked like yours. You're complimenting someone by complaining. Fuck, I picked the wrong one. Have comically large feet. Have a comically oversized head. Large feet? Your forearm is the same size as your foot. So if I have really long feet, I would also have really long arms. In which case, I would be able to reach shit without needing a step stool every time. Watch your parents be murdered in front of you. Murder the parents of another family in front of their children. I'll watch my parents get murdered. Because, you know, I'm not going to scar anyone's kids. I'm already fucked up, so. Would you rather have a personal chauffeur or a personal chef? Give me all the fucking food. I love driving. It's actually, like, really therapeutic sometimes if you don't get stuck behind an asshole. But I love driving. I don't need a chauffeur. But if I could have a personal chef, oh, the food that will come out of that. There are reasons why I can't lose weight. Be better looking in person. In person. <laughs> Because I don't take a whole lot of pictures. And most of my videos, as you know, are voiceovers while I'm doing a screen recording. I don't care if I'm better looking than pictures. Also, if you're better looking in person, <laughs> you're going to end up slightly better looking in photos as well. This is an easy one. Ha ha. Be slapped full force by a UFC fighter. Be forced to lick a dog turd. I'll take a slap in the face. At least I'm not going to get any diseases and start a new pandemic. Have all fingernails and toenails removed quickly. Or deep paper cuts on the webbing between each finger and toe slowly. Fingernails. They'll grow back. I've actually have lost a toenail before, as y'all know. I've told that story before, right? Yeah. About the folding tables going domino style on my foot. 
That was fun. Be a regular on a daily soap opera. Make one line cameos in three large Hollywood blockbusters each year. This would probably pay better. And plus, if you're making cameos, you become a lot more popular. People watch more Hollywood movies than soap operas. It'll be that fun little comic relief that people get really excited when you show up because like, oh my god, they're not normally here, but oh my god, they're here now. Eat a worm straight from the ground or snatch a fly out of the air and eat it alive. Do the fly. The worm one is saying straight from the ground and it's like, wriggling in your mouth, could be covered in dirt or poop or whatever it was digging in. But snatch a fly. It doesn't say you have to eat it straight down there. You could like wash it off a little bit, rip off its wings and legs so it can't wriggle around the fly. Kill Voldemort, kill Harry Potter. Protecting my boy Harry. If you had to do one thing every morning, would you rather need to milk yourself or lay an egg? This, because that's an actual thing. You know, pumping breast milk so say i was having children that would be a thing i would have to do i mean if i wasn't directly breastfeeding but you're still feeding kids breast milk and feeding from a bottle need to milk yourself that's an actual thing i'm not gonna lay an egg i'm not a chicken live in your dream house thousands of miles away from any civilization or live in the city of your dreams in a small house with five foreigners you can't understand how is this a competition like what the fuck that's that's so easy. Be the best known person in a small band that under 200 people know. Be some guy in the sidelines of your favorite band. Be on the sidelines? Oh, my favorite band. It's my favorite band, okay? If I could like always be on the sidelines with Imagine Dragons, like holy fuck. Be a male officer with a high pitched voice or be a male officer with the appearance of an eight year old boy. Well, I don't really want to be a cop at all right now, but I guess I'll do high pitched voice. Be called out for stupidity. Admit stupidity. I'll admit I did something stupid. I do it all the time. I'm a dumbass. Be Batman. Be Superman. I'll be super overpowered and basically unstoppable. Fly, super strong, laser vision, eyes, breath. Batman is just a rich dude with some fancy weapons. Superman actually has powers. His only weakness is a rock from a planet that no longer exists. Not know how to read? Not know how to write. Not know how to write because then I can still read and I can still type. Ha ha. Eat fast food burgers every night? Eat Chinese, Chinese takeout. Oh yes, Chinese takeout. I love Asian cuisine. My hierarchy of food goes Italian, Chinese, I guess Thai, because Thai is pretty good. I just like Asian cuisine. The top of the list is Italian, because nothing beats motherfucking spaghetti, or just pasta in general. I'm actually having spaghetti and meatballs for dinner tonight. <laughs> only smell like poop, only smell poop, only smell it. Because eventually, you'll go nose blind to it, and it won't bother you anymore. If you and the sibling are kidnapped, would you rather Live and let your sibling die. Die to save your sibling. We've actually been getting along pretty well lately. You know, her not living here has done wonders for our relationship. But nah, she can die. I dealt with a lot of shit for 17 years. I don't care. If you had to do one every other year, would you rather live completely alone on an island or be overworked in a cramp factory? I'll live alone. Still have the internet? Yeah, I can still thrive by myself. You can only save lives through two ways. Would you rather prevent World War II and all the war-related deaths that went with it, Holocaust included, or cure all forms of cancer, STDs, and AIDS? All forms of cancer. We changed the past. We don't know how that is going to impact our future. It could actually be worse than it currently is, and things are going fucking down right now. World War II and the Holocaust were absolutely awful. But you do not know how that would impact the future, current day, if it didn't occur. But cure all forms of cancer, STD, AIDS, you're actually helping the future because you don't know what's gonna happen in the future. It's nice to think about like, oh, if this thing had never happened. But really, you think that, oh, this would do so much good. It could. It could also fuck things up majorly. This is why I always say, change your future, not try to change the past. I'm getting really philosophical with this shit. I'm, I am very emotional. I should not be recording. <laughs> Would you rather be able to fly but have no family or lasting relationships? Or not. Lose all friends, family, whatever, for the ability to fly or just live as normal. I mean, knowing how to fly or being able to fly would be so cool. But it's not fucking worth ditching everyone. Be topless all the time, be pantless all the times. I'll go topless. Boobs are not a sexual organ. They've been sexualized. They are sexual characteristic, but reality, they're not a sexual organ. Also, vaginal discharge is like really gross, so I'm gonna keep my pants on. Only be able to laugh at violently racist jokes. Only be able to laugh at intricate Star Trek jokes. What the fuck? I don't even watch Star Trek. Would you rather watch Are You Afraid of the Dark or read Goosebumps? I'll read Goosebumps. I read a lot of those as a kid, so I'll read Goosebumps. 
have no eyebrows. I already have no eyebrows. Fight me. I'm immune to this question. <laughs> have a wardrobe completely of flannel plaid. Have a wardrobe completely of denim. Oh, no, 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 no. That would be so uncomfortable. Like, I love jeans so much. But no. Oh, why am I so tired? Oh, yeah, because I was up till like 2 a.m. last night. And then we had a giant rainstorm. I did not sleep well. Would you rather tell your most embarrassing secret to 10 people who imagine most or eat 5,000 licorice jelly beans as fast as you can? And plus black licorice jelly beans are absolutely disgusting. Spend the day with Justin Bieber, spend the day with Miley Cyrus. Hi Miley, I loved you when I was a kid on Hamilton. Have your current pet live as long as you do or bring a past pet back to life. I don't have any past pets. So this will be under the assumption that Kuda has died. I will bring it back because you know what? Kuda is already really, really old. Oh, so this is under the assumption that it's like, bring them back as like a reincarnation. Like, they're a young dog again. They get to live their life again. Can live to like 70, 80. I don't remember what the life expectancy is. But Kuda is 12. He's mostly blind, mostly deaf. His joints are so bad. He has a tumor on his spleen. Okay, he's really, really old. And he is not doing well. In dog years, he's already 84. Say that humans live to like 75. Times that by seven, put that in dog years. He'll be 525 years old. If he's doing this bad now, imagine when he was in his world, 525. Eat all your meals where the food is freezing cold. Eat all your mo meals with, f I cannot talk today. Eat all your meals with five tablespoons of salt poured on it. I love salt. I do this basically anyways. Porsche, Ferrari. Give me a quick second to look up what the cars look like. I'm going Porsche. Ferrari looks really stupid. Be in the Summer Olympics, be in the Winter Olympics. I live in Minnesota, so my chances are better with dealing with snow. Have a hot spouse, but be poor. Be homosexual with a famous actor and be rich. Like a day the girl and be fabulously rich and get famous from their fame. My bisexual powers have been activated. Mwahaha. <laughs> Wear the same thing every day. Never wear the same clothes twice. Honey, have y'all seen my quarantine wardrobe? It has consisted of like four outfits that are on cycle and then my work uniform. That's about it. Only eat breakfast cereal, only eat pasta. <laughs> we already went over my hierarchy of food. I love noodles. Watch a volcano erupt. Witness a meteor hitting earth. Volcano. Like lava is mesmerizing. I really like fire, guys. I really do like fire. So lava. Molten magma. That's basically a ball of waving fire. Have 200 million YouTube subscribers. Produce a oh, fuck blockbuster action movie. 200 million YouTube subscribers because I'm not the biggest fan of action movies. I like horror. I like thriller. I like mystery. Jack Jacksepticeye, he just recently hit 24 million. He has interviewed so many celebrities. He has gone to go to so many things because of that YouTube following. So I could still meet people. I could still do stuff. I could get involved with movies because I have that following. Do I really want to produce a movie? Is that my life goal as a career? Yes, that could be made more available. Live an average life and be forgotten in time. Go down to history for something terrible. Would overthrowing the government be considered terrible? Have stretchable legs, have stretchable arms. Legs, I don't like the fact that I'm five foot four. I don't like it. Okay, and this will be the last one that we do. So, eat a hot dog, eat a hamburger. Way to end with a bang. Eat a hamburger. I know, I'm not ending with that. That's stupid. Be stuck in an aquarium with a great white shark. Be stuck in a room where the floor is covered in a layer of spiders. Great white shark. Because they're not really a threat to humans. The media has lied. Great white sharks don't unprovokedly attack humans. They might take a little nibble at you and then realize, oh, hey, fuck, you're not a turtle. You're not a seal. And then they leave you alone. So I'm going to become the queen of the sharks. Let's do this. That is, I'm going to rebrand to Shark Queen. I am no longer Crazy Queen. I'm now Shark Queen. Uh, so yes, uh, you better all address me as such because... Yeah. But anyways, that's gonna be the end of this week's video. Like I said, next week we'll be back with 100 Baby Challenge. I just want to take a tiny bit of a break from 100 Babies, because that game actually gets very stressful very fast. Also, high school. It ends tomorrow. Tomorrow's my last day of high school. Holy fuck. I th mm -hmm. uh, if you're in the same boat with me, um, 
good luck on any finals that you may have left to do. Um, if you're already done, congratulations. Uh, if you are not a senior, if you're a different high school or a middle schooler, um, good luck in the following years. Hopefully this quarantine and online learning stuff is over so you can actually have a normal uh, school life. But anyways, y'all know the drill. Like this video if you like this video. Subscribe if you are new and make sure to hit the little bell icon so you get notified about when I upload, which is twice a week on Monday and Thursday. And I will see you all in another video. Crazy Queen is out. <laughs>